Okay, this is the Pink Girly channel. I'm Lori, and today I'm going to play with some napkins. See if some folks come in. I've got my work area covered just with a bath towel. Because I'm going to be using my iron first. Have a tea towel here ready. Some plastic wrap and some cardstock. I'm going to just start taking the backs off of some of the napkins I think I might use today. I'm going to find myself online here on my phone. I find that helpful to watch chat. And this looks like a few folks are here. Okay. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Lori Love, good morning, good morning. Hey, Joshua, how are you? Thanks for coming in, girls. I'm just pulling apart some napkins here. Well, I think most of us know how to do this. And I'm trying to preserve the... Um, back piece like you can tear this ah watching the luge <clears throat> I might do something with the white back piece now see the problem is I take my napkins out of their bags usually and some of them are two or three ply and I never remember so this is a two plier so I want to get that off. It's very, very chilly here in Jersey today. I should say South Jersey. We went and visited our daughter yesterday, and they're in Pennsylvania. And I guess it'd be more central Pennsylvania. <laughs> I hope we're way more fun than the luge. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking I might use that. If we get a few more folks in here in a minute, when I take off these backs, I'm going to show you what I've done in the past. I haven't done this for a while. So you know how things go on live TV. So anything could happen. But I have my iron plugged in. And uh, what I have here is just a bath towel sitting down on my desk um, because it's just I don't have like a little iron or a little space that you know you could iron on so when I do this I usually just use a bath towel now of course you can get the backs off a lot easier if you are not trying to preserve them you can just use a piece of tape pop it on the back and of course having these little short fingernails don't help or my old eyes <laughs> I do too Lori that's why people if they call me paint it would be less confusing right Sometimes I'm lurking and you're there and people are saying Lori and I'm like, oh, are they talking to me? And then I remember, oh, no, I'm lurking. I haven't, <laughs> haven't even said hello. Now, see, sometimes your napkin will have that like ghost print, the second layer under. I think that's kind of cool, too. So when I, I um, put my notice in for, let's say, my stream here, I... Um, put cardstock to put napkins on cardstock and then I thought you know I haven't tried other services so I got some book pages out I was looking for a piece of um, ledger paper but I didn't really I mean I have some in my my one book I could well I have a couple I could pull out but I don't know if I'm ready to rip those apart so we'll just we'll just see where this goes. And then I have a um, I think you'd call it a paper mache box. It's shaped like a heart. It's got a rusted tin top 
And I think there's three of them. They're like graduated. Hey, Peggy, how are you? I think they're graduated in size. I was thinking I might like to decoupage a napkin on at least one of those. And I was thinking the truck. So we'll see how that goes. All right, it's been a little while now. And I remember I was surfing on the internet. I guess that was when I had first moved back to Jersey, not back to Jersey. When I first came to Jersey, I'd never been in, never lived in Jersey before. I'm a Pennsylvania girl. I'm from Pensy. Anywho, I forget what I was, I was wanting to decoupage stuff or do, I don't know, do something. And I ran across a gal by the name, I think she's the patio elf. And she had some really great tips for decoupaging. And then somehow I found a video where this gal adhered napkins to cardstock. So, of course, I had to try it. And probably quite a few of, if, if not most of you, have done this. But I was talking to somebody. I think I might have been talking to uh, Barb Chicken Pot Pie Society. And I think she was doing it. I think she was adhering napkins to a, a paper substrate and I thought you know I haven't made a video of that so maybe I'll maybe I'll do it so today is the day like I said I haven't done it for a while so I pulled out some avocado dyed paper that I have here that I I, I made earlier just grabbed a piece of that I've got some craft color cardstock some white cardstock I've got some book pages and we're going to see how, how it goes. And I'm planning on using some of the white napkin as well. So here's a few. So like I said, if you have just come in, I just have a bath towel down on my work surface. I have a tea towel here. And I just grabbed some glad wrap from the kitchen cabinet. Don't tell Ron. And I mean, I have dollar store brand that I've used, which works fine. I just have it buried and I can't get to it. Lori one and Lori two. And what else did I pull? Oh, let me show you what I did in years past. Now I want to make sure I don't run, rub my arm or my hand up against my hot iron. So these are all napkins that I adhered to cardstock. Just show you some samples. I didn't have any problem doing this, so I'm hoping today will be the same. No problem. Yeah, that's a napkin. And while you can use napkins and glue them down on surfaces in our journals, on our journal covers, or, you know, a collage page, sometimes people find them a little fiddly and you don't really get a, a smooth. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if this works. I know it worked before for me, so we're going to try it. But this way, this isn't one, this way it, it makes um, it a little easier to use them. Or say like this particular napkin here, if you wanted to fussy cut it, it's much easier to fussy cut if it's on something a little more sturdy, right? So that's something to think about. Or this. Are these little these little darlings here right so it's just an option something to consider and like i said when i did it before it wasn't wasn't too difficult so we're going to give it a whirl and i just like i said i pulled out the glad wrap it doesn't say anything about heat peg so it says it's microwave safe but I'm going to give it a try. If not, then I'll have to unearth my cheap stuff. But I do believe I've used both in the past. 
Now, like some others in our community have said, I don't think I have my phone all the way down. I hear a little, little chitter chatter on the side. Uh, napkins, you want to maybe look and see how you like that they look on a surface that you're going to put them on, whether it be a page. Now, this is the craft. You probably can't tell. It really doesn't make that much difference. But then if I put it on a sheet of white cardstock, let's see if we can tell. Yeah, see, it's definitely a lot brighter. So if that's the look you're going for, then that's what you use. Now, like I said, I did, this is just regular, um, computer paper that I avocado dyed, right? So, I was thinking because this is kind of pink, maybe it would look okay on the pink but it really it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference from the craft so i'm just going to go for it so i'm going to take oops i'm going to do this one first on cardstock and i think i like it not as bright i'm more of a uh, grungy vintage taste kind of a crafter artist if you will so i'm going to do it on the craft and i'm just going to pull out a piece of cling wrap saran wrap plastic wrap whatever you call it hello hello to those who are coming in and i've got stuff all piled up in front of my screen so hopefully i've not missed anybody who's come in to chat and I'm going to try to get the size pretty accurate. So I've got my craft color card stuff. And the same old, same old plastic wrap doesn't stick to anything but itself. I'm going to put my plastic wrap down. I'm not going to be too fiddly about it going all the way out to the edges. Because more than likely, I'm going to cut this and trim it and use it. Miss Heather has just come in. Did I miss Heather? Craft and share with Heather. Hello, Heather. All right, so I'm going to just sit that like that, smooth it out. Now it's sticking to my fingernails. And then I'm going to gently lay down my napkin and position it, in, you know, the best I can. Mm. I'm going to move it over a little. And then I'm going to put down a tea towel. Hey, Chris, how are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. And then I'm going to take my tea towel. Now I've got my uh, iron fairly hot and I've got it um, dry, no moisture. And I'm just going to start ironing. Now, I will tell you that I do not like to iron clothes, but I really don't mind ironing napkins or paper. <laughs> and I just use some pressure. And then after a little bit, I'm just going to check to see once it starts to heat up and my surface, you know, get really warm. I'll check to see if it's, you know, sticking the two together. Lori, I sent. I think I missed that. Lori, I messaged you a pic of a napkin head I'm working on. Oh, okay, Peg. 
Let me get this one going here and I'll check. Yep, it's already sticking. It's already sticking. And that's basically it. Basically it, girls. Lori M. Sent pick to this Lori. Now there it didn't stick. It stuck over there. So I didn't get totally on my edges. So let me put that back down before I take it up. And... And you don't have to do whole sheets either. You could tear your napkin into pieces or little bits. You can make a collage, really. Put it down. Once you put your tea towel down, I think it pretty much will stay where you put it. You just want to be careful that you have the edges covered with the napkin because you don't really wanted to get on your the plastic wrap to get on your tea towel or get on your um, iron see now up here you can see where I didn't I didn't obviously get the iron on that corner but see it's stuck here now I'm sure if you really because it's not cooled down totally yet I'm sure if you uh, are not careful and it's still a little warm you're going to be able to pop that right off but those ones i showed you uh just a little bit ago i did those like i said several years ago and they're they're still stuck real well let me just see if i can get that edge That's better. See, now that just makes it easier. It's nice and smooth because you've ironed it. No steam, Chris, just the hot, dry iron. And then it makes it really easy to fussy cut. Should that be your goal? Now, what I want to try is a, is a plain white sheet on perhaps some book pages I haven't tried this before so I've just got some gardening book pages here Hopefully you'll be able to read it but I just want to see how it looks Dixie Doodles hi Dixie Doodles Dixie I don't know if we've ever met but thank you for coming in it's nice to see you all right so I'm just going to use a plain napkin And I'm just going to try, look, this here has a picture of corn, maize. So I'm going to put two sheets. So that'll look okay, I think. And of course, like I said, I'm going to cut this or use portions of it. Now, let me see. Let me see if I can find Peggy's. Oh, sorry, girls. I have a hook here. And I knocked it. Let's see. I've got a Peggy Peggy. Oh, Peg. Was this a, um, this is like a mannequin head, Peg? Look, look, girls, isn't that darling? Huh? That's amazing, Peggy. So cool. And whose napkin is that? Is that a, a Davenport napkin, perhaps? Oh, great. Thanks, Dixie. I hope you consider, oops, let me move that hook. Consider maybe subscribing. That would be cool. We'd love to see more of you. I know, right, Chris? Isn't that cool? 
That is so cool. All right, let me get my next piece of, let me move this out of your way. Get my next piece of saran. And I was thinking, of course, if I had planned ahead of time, I could have pulled out maybe a piece of um, script scrapbook paper. That might look cool. I mean, I could probably find a piece. All right, so there again, I've just got my book pages. I'm putting down my plastic wrap. Hey, Riri. Nice to see you. And I'm going to put down my plain white napkin. Try not to make a lot of air or, or wind. <laughs> I just blew my saran wrap because you want that flat. Now I'm just going to see how this looks. Because then I'm thinking I could use this and then stamp on it, right? And you might have some cool paper or book that has some cool images or perhaps um, a neat font. You just like it for whatever reason. Now you put your tea towel on top and then you're just going to take your hot dry iron and start to iron. Just a slight press and then just do that for several minutes. So I was thinking it'd be cool to stamp on top of maybe, you know, you have that second and oft oftentimes, hey, Jean, how are you? Hope you're well. Nice to see you. Uh, You know, sometimes you might like to have a plain kind of napkin, but you like the napkin surface and you don't so much need to have, um, you know, a design. I was thinking about wallpaper too, but really what would be the point? of ironing a napkin on wallpaper. And then I thought, you know, I guess that might melt itself. I don't know. So then after a few minutes, I just check. Check to see. Yeah, that's sticking. So what you're doing is you're just melting the plastic. Now, Peggy, um mentioned that if you have plastic wrap that says it's uh, heat resistant you wouldn't want to use that but i've used dollar store plastic wrap and uh, this morning i am using glad wrap because my craft grit glad wrap and my dollar store plastic wrap is hidden behind a big tub of fabric and I didn't pull it out. I know, right, Ree? I'd showed some samples of what I did before, Ree. Uh, maybe before you got in here. Did you see those? If not, hey, Carol. So here's the book page with just a white napkin backing you know from uh now see you can see here it's not adhered right that's because when i was ironing i missed that spot so you just want to check yourself uh of course i'm not paying real close attention i'm jibby jabbering here jibby jabbering away And like I said to the girls, I'd much rather iron this than iron clothes. I am a struggle. See, and then once that cools, now see that stuck a little bit to my bath towel because um, I had a little plastic wrap overhang there. 
but it pulled right up. It's still warm, it pulled right up. Let me show you these again. For those who maybe have just come in, these are some napkins that I did uh, quite a few years ago and just adhered them to some cardstock. Just whatever you like. And like I was saying to the girls, like say this one, or say you have a, uh, where's my, uh, I don't know what to do with my daisy, not my daisy, my sunflower. If you want to fussy cut something, to fussy cut a napkin, um, it's, you know, can be really annoying. But this way you can fussy cut quite easily because you've got some stability there. And if you're not into the real wrinkly napkin look, when you just collage a napkin down, you know, this would work for you as well. So now I have this pretty butterfly. And I'm not sure if I want to put that onto a white cardstock. Um, maybe I will. Yeah, that looks good there. All right, so I'm going to adhere this one. Now you can take the time to cut this right exactly peggy great ideas um you can take the kind to you know time to quarter this and it, and you you know what girls i just had a thought instead of using whole pieces of cardstock if you cut your napkin you know a lot of them have the same print on all four corners use your scraps you know how we hate to um throw away our scraps this would be a good way to use up some scraps, right? You could also do that. It's an idea as well. <clears throat> and I love to stamp on everything. So I'm just going to pull out another sheet of plastic wrap. Got my cardstock down. And I'm going to lay this down, straighten it out as best I can. Now, you don't want any moisture. You want your iron to be hot and dry. And so when I did my other ones a couple years ago, I just pulled out a bunch of napkins and sat down for an hour or so and just did a bunch of them. And then when you have a project going and you have something you want to use it for, you have, you have some ready and you have some in your stash, right? So I'm going to pop this on top. I'm going to center that a little bit more. And then I just take a tea towel. Now, I just said to the girls that were in here earlier, I just, because I'm working on my desk rather than um, an ironing board, um, I did my other ones on an ironing board. And, of course, my husband's like, don't get that on the iron. You know, so you got to put something down to protect your surface. And then I just have a tea towel that I use. And then you just simply take your iron and i don't even know if you need to use the tea towel do you know peg i mean i'm using it to protect my iron but i guess you could probably go right on you just would have to have your plastic wrap totally covered by napkin Let's see. Peg says you have to make sure you peel. All yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Peg uses parchment paper on top of hers rather than a tea towel. Good, good tip. That's a good tip. Now, this is the iron I use for crafting, but even still, when I go to use it, I don't want it to be gunked up with stuff, you know. Um, right, yeah, uh, yeah, me too, Ray. That's what I was just saying. Yeah, great minds think alike. <laughs> so now I just have now maybe the parchment paper you can see your design through better, and it might be easier to you know make sure you hit all your your whole surface. 
and it gets hot so you just want you want to be careful you don't want to you know burn your hand okay i didn't get that i didn't get my two outside corners so and you know you can use these on cards you can use them in your journals you can use them on your journal covers your collage pieces uh golly sakes anything right oh i would love to have a palm iron yeah that would be cool peg oh nice very nice very nice or even one of those little ones my neighbor gave me she's not using her uh you know and it stays warm for a little bit so you really can pick it off of your i just got some on my tea towel There you have it. All right. Now, so you can see here, it didn't stick. It's because I didn't get, I didn't get over there. I didn't do it, did do it well enough. So now I'm just gonna, because that um, plastic wrap is exposed, I'm just gonna put another piece of napkin down so I don't have it sticking to my. And if you really wanted to uh, say you were working on some uh, four by six index cards or three by fives or really, you know, anything like that. And you wanted a certain look for all of them. Just line them up, put your plastic wrap on top and then your napkin pieces or whatever and uh, get ironing. Yeah, right? Doesn't have to be. Or pick one up at a thrift shop or yard sale. Okay, so there's my butterflies all stuck in. And then once that cools, you know, they're stuck on there pretty well. All right, now I was going to do one of the trucks. I have a truck napkin that I found. I, f I forget where I picked this up. Probably online, I guess. But I love the red truck. And this one isn't a Christmas one. This one's a summer one. Isn't it, darling? Just love it. So I was going to iron that down. Now, if anybody can think of any other surface that they'd like me to try, if I have it nearby and I can grab it, I'd be happy to iron a couple napkins on so we can see how it works. Hey, Angie Brown, how are you? Oh, you're not home? Well, thanks for popping in and saying hi. I appreciate that very much. Okay. So I'm going to get another piece of my wrap. I just remembered I didn't get myself a beverage. Might have to go do that. I'm not thrilled about how the glad wrap tears off of the box. Just saying. So again, welcome to everybody that's come in. And I've just got the bath tail down protecting my desk. And in this one, I'm using a piece of white cardstock, plastic wrap, and my napkin. Now on this one, I'm going to put, because I've got overhang, I made my piece of plastic wrap a little large. I'm just going to put that extra napkin to protect my tea towel i just this is an old vintage tea towel that i just picked up at a a um i call it a junk shop they they go and they empty out estate sales after everybody's done and i really like it but it was at the, on the top of the the tea towel drawer so tissue paper
so I'm sure that would work. Now, let me think. I've got tissue paper that's uh, kind of a craft color that I use to um, ship things and wrap things in. Let me see if I can grab a piece of that. And we'll give that a, we'll give that a go. Okay, okay, Ange. I'll be praying for you, sweetie. What t do you know what time yet, Andrew? Do they or like call you like the day before? Hey, Jean Gibson. Hi. Okay, I knew it was early for you, Jean. All right, honey, I'll talk to you later. Jean's my. One of my besties. She lives in Colorado now. And uh, we play Pinochle online most Sunday evenings. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Don't I? I'm not good at getting all the way to the edge for whatever reason. I blame it on my talking too much. Talk too much. I think that's an old song. Old song. They will call me the day before. Okay, Ange. So Wednesday. So what's today? i got to plant that in my head, Ange. Today's the 6th. Monday 7th. Tuesday 8th and 9th. Correct, Ange? Okay, the 9th. I'll be praying for my hands. Okay. Okie doke. I appreciate the reminder, Angie. Lots going on all the time, right? Okay. Let's see. That should be good enough. That's the little truck. I might grab. See, I still didn't get this one corner. Jeez. Jeez. I'm just doing on the top of the yes, the ninth. Okay, great, Angie. Thank you. All right. Now it is sticking to that extra that I had on the end. Let's see, it's still warm. I can pop that right off. And this, I didn't get this edge great either. So while I'm here and I have it, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it so that I can use that whole corner on a project if I want. All right, now I'm going to see if I can unearth that tissue paper. Anybody else got any ideas? All right. I did get that down uh, a little crooked, but if I want to fusty cut it, you know, it'll be fine. But there you have it. Just on a piece of white cardstock, and it's nice and smooth. I really like how smooth. I mean, I don't mind the crinkles when you, um, you know, iron something down. I mean, collage a napkin down. But it's nice to have the option to have some... Uh, Oh, girls, wonder how it would look on a doily, a little piece of something on a doily. All right, let's see, right? Let me see if I can get me a piece of this here. Tissue paper. I think I can do it. Even if I just a little smidge. Grab the lance. These are big sheets. All right, girls, I'm going to go grab a glass of water real quick while I'm up. I'll be right back.
Okay. I get talking and then I, my throat gets so dry and then I start coughing. Okay. I'm just going to tear this. So this is just regular, you know, tissue paper like you would wrap a gift in. got some nice script and some cute little pink pink flowers now this won't give you as much stability as uh, your uh, card stock or say like a, a um, scrapbook paper but it's certainly between that and the napkin, I would think it would be better than just a one ply of napkin. So, got my tissue paper down. Now I'm going to put my napkin on. And I'm going to put my, let's get this napkin out of the way. And then take my hot dry iron. This is kind of big. It's kind of going off my desk, so that's not going to probably get stuck down and I'm just using medium pressure you know I'm sure if you I, don't, I mean I don't have a terrible amount of strength in my arms anymore in my hands <clears throat> All right but you don't really need it just take your time and iron away you could do this sitting and watching other streams catch up on your videos right multitask multitask and if you do it this way um certainly your napkin is going to be smooth because you're ironing it and then you have more flexibility putting it on a project, I would think, right? Because it's on tissue. Uh, so it might be easy to say you wanted to wrap it around a um, travel journal cover, right? That might be nice. All right, let's give a check. Yeah, I didn't didn't get that corner. Looks like I missed a spot in the center. You you you'll be able to tell where it's not stuck down. So and this is not I don't think it's gonna be 
you know, as stiff as, oh, we've got a bot. I think Peggy's still here. She'll get him. She'll get the bot. Let's see if I can get him. I can get him. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's stuck. I don't think I did as great a job. But for the most part, of course, my corners, because I didn't run my iron all the way out because of the size of it and because of the space that I'm working in. But yeah, there you have it. It worked good. Thanks, Peggy. Harris Barr. He's out of here. Okay. Now, I did the paper. I did the, um, I wanted to see. I'm sure it would work on this as well. Oh, let me do the doily. What did I, where did I throw? Oh, I folded it up inside here. That's probably not the best idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. So this one, I'm going to cut this nappy. I'm just going to use the one corner. I'm not like fussing around with a bunch of bunch of stuff. Now this little um nap this little um doily's a little wrinkly. <clears throat> so I'm gonna iron that out. So that's nice and flat. And then I'm just going to get a small piece of plastic wrap. And I'm going to trim this as well. And this will be, this will be annoying to cut, but I'm going to do it anyway. A large doily might be nice. This is probably silly to do this, but I'm trying it anyway. Now, because I have extra plastic around there, I'm going to take one of my back backing napkins just so it doesn't get on my tea towel. Alrighty, and now we're just going to heat that up, press it down, do, 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 do. see that's the song of a game I play, oh my goodness, sick, 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 Sticky farm heroes. I play these games. I'm really not very good at any of them, but I keep trying. So I could trim that out. 
it was, I mean, you don't see the, I mean, if you hold it up to the light, but if you used a napkin that didn't have as much pattern on here, you'd be able to see your doily design underneath there. So that's kind of cool. Let's see. My, a lot of my scissors are scary because I just keep using them with my dirty hands. And I'm painting and all that jazz, you know. But this would look cute on a journal page, I think. Plus, you could put any design down, you know, if you had some kind of a shape that you liked on um if you put a napkin on it and whatever surface and then just tr you know trace your shape on and then cut that out probably would make nice pockets on a journal page or you could bend it over the edge of a page see because with a regular napkin you could do it but I would go I would go crazy yeah this is a pretty napkin of course I'm partial to a uh, hydrangeas I tend to pick out whatever hydrangea ones I find that's my favorite the hydrangea Ta -da! Okay. All right. So I've got a piece of um, got a piece of piano roll paper here. Let's just see. They 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 break apart because of these you know holes. Let me see if I can iron that curl out of it. Let's just see. Oh, I ironed up one of the hmm I don't think I pulled out anything that really will work on that let me use a piece of um, of my back oh oh girls there was a piece of backing that had like that ghosty print on it where did that go is it this one yeah, yeah, I had the butterflies. You know how sometimes your second, um, the second layer under your napkins? Oh, they don't? Oh, that's a sh yeah, that's too bad. So you can see the little, little ghosty of the butterfly. So let me put that on this. Let's see how this looks. All right, where's my plastic area? Oh, I had that extra little piece from my, from the doily. Let's get that guy. All right. Okay. Unearth my tea towel. Now, after I do this, I'll show you what I did this morning. You know, I did. And then I'm going to show you my containers, my heart containers that I'm hoping to decoupage a napkin on. I'm not going to use one of these because I need the, the, the uh, napkin to be real pliable. But I am going to use uh, some saran wrap to show you how I put that down. And hopefully, you know, 
get a nice uh, finish. Christine G, hello. Christine says she has a 120-year-old hydrangea in her yard. Oh, my gosh. What color is it, Christine? Oh, my goodness. Uh, my mom rents my grandmother's property, and there used to be one out in the front yard there, but I don't know if they pulled it out or not. They may have. So this is kind of cool. Look, you can see the little holes from the piano roll paper. And then just the ghosty image. That's the second layer of that napkin. So that would be cool to print on. Purple. Nice. Oh, nice. All right. So, so we did that. I did that one. And then we did uh, on a doily. And then... We adhered the napkin to a piece of tissue paper, which allows it to be nice and flexible. You know, if you wanted to wrap that around something. So we have that. And then I did the trucks on just a piece of white cardstock. Of course, you can trim these all out or fussy cut. And then we have the butterflies on white cardstock. And then we did just two book pages. Okay, so Peggy's got a tip here for us. Dixie, you can grow hydrangeas and you, you plant in part shade, not full sun. They need some shade or under a shade tree. All right, that might be something to try. And you can see here where I didn't get that spot of a book. You just got to make sure you cover your whole surface. And Peggy said she uses parchment paper. So maybe something like that, or even just the, the white backing of the napkin that you pull off. Um, maybe if you just use that, because then you can see an iron easily. So we did that, and then we also did on a piece of craft color cardstock. And like I say, you know, if you want to fussy cut them, it makes it a lot easier if you've got them on. Yeah, Texas is hot. All right. So, what you just want to remember is you're going to get a piece of cardstock, scrapbook paper, tissue paper, a doily, you know, anything that you want to use as a substrate. Get some plastic wrap. Make sure that it's not um, heat resistant, I think Peggy said. And uh, then just layer up your substrate, your plastic wrap, and then your napkin and use a hot dry iron. And uh, you can attach them to each other and then you've got a nice flat ironed napkin that you can fussy cut or put in a journal page you know or you make a pocket you know it just gives you some stability to be able to use a napkin so it's not all flippy floppy you know the flippy floppy oh look i could have used the truck okay so i'm just going to put this stuff aside Unplug the old iron. And let me find a spot to sit this. This this ought to be this ought to be uh, the challenge. Just 
확실한 것 같다 와 <clears throat> All right. Get my tea towel out of the way. Now, what I was thinking is, I'd like to put my truck on this. Oh, me too, Dixie. That's what I said. My grandma's house had that, had a big blue one in the front. And uh, I don't know if the folks that are renting it now have taken it out or not. Not 120 years old, though. I bet you, oh my gosh, Christina, must just must be beautiful. Okay, this is my vessel that I want to um, decoupage on. I picked these up at a yard sale. So there's three of them. I think there's oh, maybe there's four. Oh, 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 oh. Look, there's four. All right, I'm going to start with the largest one because I think that will be easiest. Of course, it's got a lovely sticker on the bottom. I like the tin top, so I don't think I'm going to do anything with the tin top. And I'm going to see if I can get this sticker off. I'm going to heat this up a little bit and see if I can pull off this sticker. Without losing any flesh. Now what I might end up doing is painting this and then trying to get the napkin on it. Um, I'm just going to see... Which direction I want to go. Yeah, it's not coming off so great. Drives me crazy where they put tags. You could put it under the lid. I mean, people that sell this kind of stuff, you know, I don't think most people are just going to buy this and take it home and sit it on their shelf. They're going to do something to it. They're going to alter it somehow. creative trish nice to see you thanks for coming in and saying hi i appreciate it and welcome welcome to anybody who's just come in all right let's see i'm not sure that i want to do the roses although that might look pretty i was thinking actually i'd like to do the truck but that may be silly Maybe silly to do the truck. Yeah, the roses look better, don't you think? Uh, I know. They're all the price stickers. I mean, some of them are peeling off better than they they ever did, but I 
and I find them quite annoying. All right, so my question to myself is, if I do the rose, these flowers, Now, I hope to do it so I don't have it going on the inside. I can just, just sand this trim off. And, of course, I didn't notice that the inside of this box is kind of, but it's, you know, it's old. I found it at a uh, yard sale. All right, I think what I want to do is paint the box. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to give it a coat of white paint. And I'm just going to use my, as you can see, my grungy deco art Americana. Let me find, uh, let's see. I don't have a lot of huge huge brushes. I'm just going to use, well that one's not, that one's a pretty good size. So if I get my paint on, that can start to dry. And then I can dig out, I think I have more of those napkins. A 91% alcohol spray on price tags for a spare that really oh that's something to know roses on the heart yeah I just think it works better and I'm doing this because I just wanted a little brighter because once I get the napkin on and it dries I can um, if I if I think I need to, I can ink and uh, give it some grunginess if I think I like it that way. So this is just um, paper. Okay, thanks, Carol. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Oh, you know what? I just, I have a new shirt on. And I was just thinking this morning, it's cold out in my room. I probably should take that shirt off. I just shot white paint on myself. Girls, I never learn. Never, ever learn. Of course, acrylic paint, you know, that's just, that's just going to dry and be there forever. Right on the girls. I just need a moment. I'm going to saturate this. Let's see if I can scrub a little bit of it out. I'm sure it's going to get much more marked up. But I hate when I do it when it's new. <laughs> white line of course it's black so it really sticks out did I tell you earlier that I'm a struggle yeah I hear what you're saying Peg but you know what it's just it's just not me it's just not me not 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 happening I just I don't know I'm just a weird egg I'm getting most of it out, girls. See, if you get it while it's wet. Should be okay. I'm just slapping that paint on. i just be slapping it.
Okay. Now there for a while I was covering uh, wood bracelet blanks with napkin. And they were really cute. But I was listening to this lady and I don't know if she's still on. I'm pretty sure she calls herself the patio elf. And she does, she decoupages on lots of different surfaces. And she uses um, plastic wrap that help her get a really nice, um, I want to say finish or um, just, you know, a nice adhered surface. Oops, I just hit my camera with the brush. About in a thousand today. Hi, Elise. Oh, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. Glad you decided to pop in. We're a friendly bunch. We love art. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be happy to answer if we can. All right, so I'm just... Um, trying to get a coat to cover up the the uh, craft color. I want this piece to be a little brighter. This has a tin top. And I have decoupaged a few things, but I'm not an expert by any stretch. Oh, thanks, Elise. I hope you do as well. It's chilly here in Jersey, but it's the sun's shining. That's always good, right? Okay, now I'm going to be using my golden matte medium to adhere my napkin. And I'm going to use this. I have three panels. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the bottom white and then ink it or maybe put a piece of scrap paper on it, you know, before I'm finished. Hey, Miss Holly Holly, because it's too early for you. It's too early for you, Hall, when I just decide to go on. Oh, I need that drink. Because you know me, it's always last minute. Oh, good. At least you're in the right place then. Because all of us here like all the same stuff. All right. Let me see if I can pull out another one of these napkins. It's like I got a move Peter to pay Paul. those out so I'm hoping I can find up oh, there they are now when you do anything like this just in case you've not done this kind of thing before you want to make sure you've pulled off uh, the layers of napkin most napkins are two or three ply which means two or three layers. Just grabbing my golden light medium. And okay, Christina has a question. I took a posh napkin on a plastic zipper bag with Mod Podge. Now after it is dried, it is slightly sticky. What do I do? That seems to be um, a problem with Mod Podge. Some folks don't. I guess it might have to do with uh, where they live. For me, oh, thanks, Elise. 
uh, Mod Podge never totally dries. So I only use it as a glue in between two surfaces. I never use it as the top surface. Peg, what do you think? Um, put a coat of um, maybe a varnish on it or uh, maybe a coat of the golden matte medium. Let's see what Peggy thinks. Peggy's got a lot of information. I personally would say uh, a brush on, you know, varnish that you can get in your craft store or a coat of your golden matte medium because this will dry and um, will dry dry and not be sticky. So let's see. And then if anybody else can weigh in, if they've had the same experience with the Mod Podge, what have you found? Holly thinks either should work. Okay, let's see what the consensus is. Yeah, good question. Um, I have things in a couple of different... Um, Riri says maybe the golden matte medium. Okay, and you can get that online or in your local craft store, usually. Uh, I think in my area anyway, you can get it at Joann's and you can get it at Michael's. Certainly, I, I think Hobby Lobby carries it, but I don't know. Hi, Leslie. How are you today? Nice to see you. Um, hi, Sue. Uh, Karen Sue. Nice to see you. Baby powder. I don't know if it would permanently take away the baby powder or if it might stick. You could try it on a small corner of your bag and see if that works. If it does work, that would be a great fix for sure. Oh, really, Ray? Yeah, see, it's always sticky for me. Always, always. I was doing... Um, like collage around like your soup cans you know you take the label off had the soup can i punched holes in the top little wire handle and would put like you know really cute little garden themes yes online amazon definitely carries golden for sure thanks re for mentioning that and um oh uh, where was i going Oh, yeah, those tin cans. They were really cute. And then I would do them with the Mod Podge. And then after they dried, I'd sit them on my table or a shelf or the shelf in my um, uh, craft unit, uh, my little craft booth that I have. And they were sticking to the shelf. And then you would pick them up and they'd, they'd, be, they'd be tacky. They never dried and of course when i was doing that i didn't know about um, the golden matte medium all right so i'm going to do this in sections i'm just trying to decide uh, what part of the napkin i'm going to use where so i think if i do it this way and put the fold where that creases that might look okay split my napkin there so I'm just going to trim the napkin in half naturally. And I'm not worried about this edge because, like I said, I'm, I'm hoping to grind that off. I have all the abrasive. Okay, cool. Great. So let me just. Yeah, I was thinking maybe drier climates. The Mod Podge would, would um, dry better, but. And some people will tell you it does, but it doesn't for me. All right, put my extras up here. Yeah, me too, Ray. So hopefully I'm going to put my napkin on to start that way. Now, I don't want my straight edges, so I'm going to just take some of this straight edge off. Because experienced artisans will tell you that you can blend in the edge of um, a napkin when it's torn or, you know, roughed up rather than when it's a straight edge. So again, I'm hoping to place it like that. Now I'm going to snip here. 
so that I can, you know, bend this down around the bottom. See, and I don't want it to really be bumpy. So I'm going to come and I'm going to snip all along there. And then I'm going to snip here. Okay. And hopefully, I know, Judy's so good. And we're talking about, for those of you who may not know or watching the replay, we're talking about Judy Willingham. And that's the channel name on YouTube. And if you like art uh, and a variety of art, check out Didi's channel as well. Okay, so, oh, you know what I want to do, girls? I don't want to snip down too far. So, right about where that, see that little waffly part of the napkin, you know, where they seal it together? I'm going to trim up that, up to there. And then I'm going to trim right to where I have it snip. Duh. And this hopefully, now I'm not going to bend this so much down on the top. Barb, Barb, Barb is in the house. Hello, Barb. Nice to see you today. I really probably don't have to do the top, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. And then I'm just snipping so that I can... Hopefully, fold this over easily. All right. Now, my plan is, is to start on one side, glue it down. Flip this up, put the rest of my glue on, bring that down, right? Go from there. And what I'm wanting to do is just put a little glue on this top edge. And then when that dries, I can sand, sand this off. That's the plan. Now I'm going to get a piece of plastic wrap ready. Because I'm hoping that this will help me get a nice uh, streamlined um, look to my piece. Now I'm going to find, hopefully, one of my glue brushes. As I've said before, my scissors have kind of taken over my space. So they're buried. So get those scissors out of the way. And I'm only going to come down to about here. And just give myself a little, little light mark about where I want to start with my glue. Or as I should say, my golden matte medium. Oh, thanks, Holly. Take a little sip. All right. And I'm just going to squeeze it on my surface. Now your napkin is porous. So this is going to come through. And you don't have to use the plastic wrap. I just want a little bit on there. But the Patio Elf uses the plastic wrap. And I'll show you why. So now this is the fiddly part. I'm going to just go a little bit over there. I can put more on the bottom once I get to that spot. Now where to put that? I'll just put that on my glass. 
and <clears throat> just dropping my napkin down and then I'm going to take my plastic wrap put it over top of the napkin and that's going to help me be able to stretch and adhere my napkin fairly smoothly without uh, getting it all over my hands and without tearing my napkin. But you still want to be gentle. You don't want to be, you know. But see, a lot of times too, like with the bracelets I was doing, if you would pull this down and stretch it, it kind of helps you to stretch the napkin. Now, the patio elf, a lot of times, she said she would leave um, the plastic wrap on it till it dried. But you can take it off now, which is what I'm going to do. And right here, I didn't get enough glue, enough uh, matte medium. And I didn't put any on the bottom. So I'm just going to put some on my brush. And I'm going to paint. Am I still in frame? I'm going to paint that along here. And then bring this down. A little bit more. And I'm getting some pink. So my napkin is bleeding. Isn't that funny? Now you also can take your plastic wrap and you can crunch it up and use it like this too and kind of smooth out your napkin. Now, if some of you weren't here, this is just a, I think they call it paper mache. Maybe it's not paper mache. I don't know what they call it. But it's that brown, cardboardy, papery stuff. That, you know, you see the different shapes and boxes in the, um, you know, in the craft stores. It, but this one has the tin lid. Now. This was probably not the best idea just to put a little bit of glue here. But now I'm going to come back and do this other half. So I've got my golden matte medium. I'm going to try to make sure I cover all my, the whole surface, which is, can be a little difficult white on white sometimes. You can't always, don't always see or get it cover it the way maybe you'd like so just take your time and I'm going to put a little bit again on my edge I don't want to lap it over I just want to maybe do that top edge and then I'm going to hopefully bring this back down I'm just going to tug it a little bit I don't want to rip my napkin Got a little bit of bubble there. Open up my plastic wrap and I'm going to stretch it on. And that will help me. Now you might be really gifted at this and not need this napkin, the uh, plastic wrap. Me not so much. I don't do it a lot. See, when you pull it and stretch it, it's supposed to help make your napkin, you know, not be real wrinkly. So 
So I'm just pulling that plastic a little bit to help me get a nice stick down, hopefully. Like I said, she said you can leave the plastic. Depends on your project and what kind of time you have, you know, whatever. And like I said, of course, your napkin is porous, so you can see that glue coming through. <clears throat> and now I'm going to sneak some more underneath this. And I think what I'm going to try to do, and not today, is uh, look in my stash with for some... Uh, nice pink I think I have some scrapbook paper that I can make a nice uh, bottom to cover thank you ladies now the trickier part is going to be the back end of the box <laughs> yeah Now what I'm going to do when this dries really, really well, is I'm going to take a um, like an emery board type of nail file and sand that edge. And then if it doesn't look the way I want it to look, I'll just add a little paint, you know. So I'm going to hit this with my um, heat gun just a little bit because I want to do the back side as well. And I don't want to take a chance of Oh, I haven't thought that far ahead yet, Hal. Okay. That needs some more glue. So now I have to decide um the other part of the napkin I'm gonna, which part of the napkin I'm going to use so let me dry this just a little bit so I it won't be super dry but I think it'll be dry enough where if I thin it it's not going to peel off but I think it'll look really pretty with the um, thin lid Now, from this being stored with all the other containers inside, see, I've got some some rust. Like I said, I got this at a, at a yard sale. There's four of them. So I was hoping not having to do anything to the inside, but see, I'm, I'm going to put this in my, uh, in my, um, oh my gosh, why are these words not coming to my head today? In my co-op. Karen Bot, how are you? Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> and so I might have to do something to the inside of that. But anywho. So that's pretty dry. But see, I think that's kind of look pretty. Right? It's going to look pretty. It's going to be pretty. All right, so now I think I want to take another double piece. Hey, Judy, 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 good to see you. Thanks for coming in. 
All right, so now I'm going to give my napkin a little bit of a bend the other way. So I've got that fold line where it's naturally folded. But now I want to put it in the dip of the heart. And I want to make sure I'm going the right way. So I want to get that in, in that little crease. At least I think that's what I want to do. But see, my roses are going to overlap. Not crazy about that. Not crazy about that. Maybe I do want to flip it the other way. Hmm. I think I'm going to flip it upside down because I want um, I want to see more of the hydrangea here. I'm not sure. See if I do it this way. Yeah, y'all just keep fighting about it. Okay, it's going in the shop. I need stuff for the shop. So if I put that that way, see, then I've really got, see how my double wrote, my double. All right, if I trim off, let me trim off the leaves. Let me do it with, um, let me, let me be safe rather than sorry. Let me just see if this, uh, I take a little, take a little water and do me a little paint, paint, paint here. I get that to come off easily. I have more of these napkins, so if this part doesn't go well. You know, and I always have to keep telling myself it's it's handmade okay it's not well it's hand decorated i guess i should say it's not going to be perfect and if somebody is looking at it that closely then they just won't buy it right so if i put this like that see that's a rough edge so that'll look okay and then i've got all that rose there i think i'm going to take it off right to here just get rid of it and then i should be able to blend that into the other edge Very good opinion. Barbara is saying that it's best to wet the edge of the tissue and feather it out instead of cutting it. Because when you cut the leaves, it leaves a, you know, like a hard line and it's, it's hard to get it to look like a one unit if, if you have a hard line. <clears throat> See, so when I glue that down, this is just going to mush just going to hopefully mush into now see I'm cutting it close right there so 
so I'm going to have to make sure I just get that in the right spot. It's going to be fiddly. It's going to be fiddly. Okay, so now I want to do the same on this side. It's because I got the same situation, right? So I'm just taking a paintbrush. And I'm going to get a new piece of plastic wrap too for this side. And I'm just putting it in water. And I'm just moistening around that edge where I want to tear the napkin. And of course it's going into some of the napkin I don't want. But it didn't allow for the bleed. For the bleed. And then I'm going to come down here and take this edge off. Devin, Devin, how are you today? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Put my little scrappy scrappers there. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other end. I'm just going to snip this up to that waffly part. And just snip, snip, snip so that I can fold this down easily on the bottom. Mm, it doesn't hurt, I guess, to do the top as well. Just want to make sure I've got it going in the right direction. I don't even know that I remember or notice, honey. No worries. No worries. You're busy when you're doing your live and you're trying to, oh, it's, please, please, no worries. Okay, I'm going to get my little piece of plastic wrap. And I'm going to do what I did last time. Um, I'm going to do, paint my golden mat on one hand if you will, one cheek of the heart. <laughs> that, once I get that on, I'm going to do the other. I'm going to do the other cheek. There's something wrong with me. Something wrong with me, guaranteed. Just saying. I'm very thirsty today. All right, scissors over here. Get my little glue brush. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put on some of my matte medium, like so. And then when I paint it on this time, I'm going to overlap that napkin that's already down. I want to get in the crevice. See, I really restrained kept myself from saying crack and I'm just going to put a little little dab on the top there <sighs> 
and then you know what i'm going to turn it around this way towards me and this is where i'm going to get myself messed up guaranteed because i want to get that in the crevice as best as i can Then I'm going to get my plastic wrap. Which hopefully is going to help me pull that on. And get a hopefully just as nice of a, I mean the first section went on pretty nice. So I'm hoping this will nice as well using that plastic wrap but it's hard to grab it and if you weren't here this just helps you not tear your napkin usually and you can give it a little tug because you're glue your matte medium whatever you're using you know will come through your porous napkin see now i did tear it there damage control now see i tore it right there So I'm going to tear the rest of that off gently. Never done this before. <clears throat> I'll put a little extra glue there. See how I have white bits now. I'll put a little bit of that down on my and I'm gonna sog that up get that really wet and then I'm gonna take my little bit of napkin I'm gonna go right over where I lost that up Yeah, with the white of the uh, little edge of the of the um, rose, it's hard to see. You know, at first I didn't realize I tore it because I thought it was the edge of that one rose. Let's see, I'm just I just put that right over top. So don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Okay, now I gotta flip and do the other side. Oh boy, now I'm really nervous. Woo! So this part I didn't put any glue, any medium. So let's get some on there. Okay, thanks, Elise. I appreciate it. Whew. Now, hopefully this side. And I'm going to bring my matte medium just over the edge of that other napkin. I'm going to get a little on the rim of my box. Oop. Okay. Okay. Ah. All right. Where's my plastic? <clears throat> like I said, you don't have to use the plastic, but I just feel 
I'm more confident. This is not something that I'm confident in doing. And you can be a little rougher with it, but obviously you still have to be a little gentle because I just tore it. Now, I don't know if I tore it from rubbing it or if I yanked it off. <laughs> Barb, that's adorable. Barb said when a five-year-old told her not to tell she was sleeping at grandmom's and her three-year-old brother wasn't, I told her my lips were sealed and she said to me her lips were chapped. How adorable. Well, we went uh, and saw our daughter and her family yesterday. And that's where our grandchildren are. And we were making plans and we decided to go earlier rather than later because I was helping six-year-old Charlotte with a school project. So we thought we might need a little more time. And our grandson was so excited about us coming. He's three. He said to his mother, how, our daughter, how soon before they get here, I want to brush my teeth so they don't have to smell my smelly breath. Gotta love them. Okay, so I'm just now see this one. I'm a little bit over, or not quite over as far, and I've got that little gap, a little gapper there. But I'm thinking because I want to ink this, that might be okay. All right, so I'm going to gently pull off my tissue and my uh, plastic wrap now see right there on a, it's right where the green is see it's a, a pretty big contrast watch out for werewolves oh my gosh that's adorable they're just amazing aren't they i'm going to take a little bit of the dark green napkin piece here and just put a little tiny smudge and i'm not putting a straight edge i'm going to tear make sure that's torn <clears throat> take a little more of the medium i shouldn't have touched it where i touched it that's wet there no one will ever know Somebody must have been talking to her about werewolves, right? Okay, now I'm going to come underneath again like I did. And I snipped that, hoping that I can get this, you know, glued down nicely. And then be able to, um, I think, cover the bottom with a piece of... Uh, scrapbook paper now if you didn't cut your napkin when you're going around a, a curved surface like that if you didn't cut cut that it would just be all um like bumpy and kind of gathery, but it wouldn't it wouldn't get it to lay as as nicely or as flat, you know, to come around that that curve. Now what I'm thinking is I'm gonna end up doing all of the little hearts with pieces of this napkin so that if somebody does want them all to stack them, they'll have the match. I may do this really small one and then like every other one, I might paint a couple of those pink and do some, uh, maybe some script stamping on the sides.
Alright, let's see. Is that my dry side? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to take my heat gun and just dry this side. And that's where I had the gap where I didn't have enough of the green napkin. It's not perfect. I do have some wrinkles. Now the age old problem for me is to have my like nail energy here somewhere. I'm not doing on time. Oh, I'm okay. I think Tanya comes on this afternoon. I always thought she came on around two, but I think this week it was later. And that might have been because she had something going on, or maybe I just have the time. Not right. Which very well could be. Jerry, nice to see you. Okay, so that's that's super duper dry, but it's it's not um doesn't feel damp. Oh, I think I see one. I see one. I see it in just something like this. The usual is one side's usually a little rougher than the other. And let's see. I think I can just. Oh, that's an annoying noise, isn't it? So sorry. Maybe mute. <laughs> see, but then that gives you a nice finish. I just put a little bit of the matte medium on that rim. See? And then you don't have any yuck going down into the box. No yuck into the box. Now what I'm thinking is... I was thinking about inking. But maybe what I want to do is, especially around here, come in and maybe float some color around there to try to make those leaves pop a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't put so much time into it. I do apologize, but I just want to be able to show you how this looks. <sighs> Barb, could you just sing us a little ditty so they don't have to hear this horrible noise?
because this is just napkins so it's real usually really easy to just sand that when you have a little edge like if you um, were putting a napkin on say like a greeting card blank or something like that or a journal page and you have some overhang journal cover it makes a real nice edge finish There she goes, just walking down the street, singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. Thanks, Barb. <clears throat> okay. Coming around this other edge here. Once it dries really well, it sands a little easier. This feels feels pretty dry. And I can come back and do a better job, but you get you get an, you get the idea. Years ago when we were having a family get together sitting around the table, my nephew, who was five years old at the time at the time, came in from the bathroom and handed his mom, oh dear, oh dear, that is, aren't, they are, oh my gosh, we should write this stuff down, right, because, yeah, it's a maybe, da dum dum <laughs> all right, so, I don't want to really put the tin lid on now, because, I mean, it feels dry, but, I don't want to take the chance that it's not super dry. And then I'm thinking, see, so it's going to look like that. So I was thinking about inking. I just don't know which way I want to do. I guess I could do both, actually. See, I don't know what I have in the way of... Um, I wonder if I took... See, now that there's the golden that medium on there... I just don't know that I have anything dark enough. Let's, let's just see. Let's just see. I mean, really, how bad can it look? How bad can it look if I took some, like a, um, if I took one of my, sorry, whack the camera. See, once you start doing stuff, you get other ideas and other thoughts, and you just don't always pull out everything you think or you haven't even occurred to you that you might, you know, want to use. So, these are my Neo 2s. And I'm just wondering if I have a color dark enough. That color might be dark enough. And it might, you might not really be able to tell after I would do that. That's a little bright. That's still kind of, oh, maybe this one. I'm trying to match that darker, oh, that might work. The darker color of that leaf on that napkin. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's give it a go. Let me take this. <clears throat> Who'd I miss? I missed Kathy. Kathy who? I missed Kathy coming in. Hi, Kathy. I don't know which Kathy, but hello, hello. Kathy's world, Kathy. Hello, Kathy. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's kind of, it's kind of dark. All right, let me put out a little bit of, now yeah, let's just put it on your table. 
All right, let's start at the bottom. Ooh, not sure how it's gonna. It's bleeding right into the. Right into the rosé. I don't know. Maybe I had too much, maybe a little too much water on my brush. Probably don't really need it. Where did I put that water? I can't see where I put the water. <clears throat> Do you think it makes a difference? I kind of do. Just want that rose to maybe pop up, pop out a little bit more. You don't know how to. Okay, Christine, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Have a good afternoon. Give your mom a kiss for us. Okay. Does anybody know what time Tanya comes on? I want to make a list of who comes on when, you know, just in general. I mean, I know other things happen, but gosh, I have a hard time remembering. it helps a little bit what do you what do you think anybody else want to put in their two cents see and then i'm thinking i can take some um of the uh vintage photo ink or oxide and um You know, like vintage up or grunge up the edges. Twelve to one. Oh, twelve to one year time. So that's three. Twelve. Oh, yes. So maybe three o'clock. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. At least if I did that, they pop. They would pop out. Let's see, you could you know make them a little more striking the rose is a little more striking so then i was thinking i'll probably put on it once i get the um inking one um put another coat of the uh, mixed the uh, golden matte medium and then let, let it dry really well. And then it should be good to go. Two p.m. Yeah, maybe because I was off last week, but I thought maybe she had something going on and didn't come on on time, and I didn't get there. 
on time, but maybe she doesn't come on till 3 Eastern. I was thinking if I make a list, in, you know, just a general kind of, and put it on my community tab. I don't think I like that so much there. I wonder if I can get that. 2 p.m. Central, so that would be 3 Eastern. Okay, great. Thanks, Barb. So I was off a little. <laughs> Shocker. Shocker. So all I have to say is I'm, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I think I like it around the flower, not so much around the, but it's okay. Where to put Lost McCurry on? Um, you know, it might because they're water soluble. Good point. I guess I'd have to spray it, right? Have to seal it first. Thanks, Dad. That's a good, that's a good pointer. Good point out. Although, really, if it smears it a little bit, it's probably not that huge of a deal. But you are correct. They are water-soluble. So, maybe I should have tried an ink. It's all right. It's all right. I always forget about that. Or, like, ink tents. I could have... I ordered myself some ink tents bars and they were they were out of stock they're back ordered or something so I'm still waiting for them to come I don't want to mess around I want to mess around with them now putting that on kind of thick I kind of like it So then I have to figure out what I'm going to put on the bottom to make that look all snazzy, snazzy, jazzy, and finished, you know. doesn't take that long to do it. Thank you, Judy. Appreciate that. Now, this lady I was saying, now this, like I said, this is years ago. I don't know if she's still on. And I guess at that point might have been StreamYard. I'm not even sure. Could have been YouTube. Um, like I said, I think she called herself the patio elf. She would even um, decoupage on baskets. And that's how she did it. She used that uh, plastic wrap that she could mush, you know, mush the, the paper down in the little crevices of the basket. And it didn't, te it didn't tear. And, uh, you know, she got a really nice, a really nice finish on it. And, um, you know, it wasn't all lumpy and bumpy. I mean, it was because there was a basket, but you know what I mean? It was, uh, appropriate lumps and bumps. It wasn't like, and it didn't tear on her. And uh, she, she was able to control what she was doing. I don't want this real dark around here. Just kind of water that down. Hey, Jude. 
Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Now, was everybody? I don't think everybody was here when we ironed. We earlier I ironed. Barb, you and I were talking about this, I think, and I think you were doing it. Ironed on napkins on cardstock or some other substrate. I can show you what we did earlier. We, me, sorry, I don't know, it's a habit. It's a habit. I think we're all doing it together. Yes, it was moi. I don't know if I'm real crazy about that being that dark there. I could probably knock that back a little when I come back in with my... Okay, so what Barb and I... Barb was saying she was ironing and, and sticking... Um, napkins the plastic wrap and i had done it years ago and then i thought oh that might be good to do on a little bit of a stream so i felt like doing that this morning or a little earlier when i first came on so let me put this aside to dry for a minute and i'll show you what what we did <clears throat> because while napkins um for most of us they can be a little fiddly to work with right and they're flimsy because we take the backing, whether it's one or two off, we take that off and they're flimsy. And you can fussy cut them and you can put them down. And some of us, me being one of them, I don't really mind too much of the wrinkle. But sometimes you like a smoother surface and you can adhere napkins to a different substrate. So these are ones that I did years ago and they're holding up quite well. Of course... I haven't used them for anything because, you know, I forget that I have them. Shocker, shocker. Uh, let's see. Where's my... Okay. So this is a napkin. And this, I just adhered these to... I, this just feels like regular um, copy um, printer paper. Did this one cardstock now see if you wanted to fussy cut this napkin it would be it would be a pain in the tush i gotta say it would be but see when you put it on a piece of cardstock it's real easy to trim that out and fussy cut it or like this see that would be it that would be so annoying to me to do that fussy cut that so these are ones see like this but now that it's on cardstock, that's easier to do. Okay. So this morning, I thought I would do it on camera because I, I didn't, um, I don't think I was recording back when I put, put those on. I just watched a video, saw a lady do it and thought, eh, I can do that. So that's what I did this morning. So we tried a, a doily. Which, you know, with this particular napkin, that's what I put on the, bo on the box here. You don't really see, you can see a little bit of the uh, holiness, if you will, of the doily. Oh, they were? I didn't realize you had Dalmatians, huh? So if you used a napkin with maybe a lighter imprint, or, or use the second one down. It just has a little bit. You, you would see more of your doily through. Then I had a piece of piano roll paper sitting on my desk. So I used the second, like the second back piece, a second um, ply of a butterfly napkin and just put it on. You can see the piano holes. Okay, Sherry said she's taken an overhead plastic and covered a napkin with polyurethane. It makes it see-through and stronger, and it will peel off the plastic. Ooh. 
That sounds cool. Ooh. So I was thinking this, you know, you could cut out, use the lip rip it tear or whatever stamp on it, and that might be nice. Then uh, we did this on a piece of craft colored cardstock, and you can see this is a bigger, and I didn't didn't get that edge, you know, sealed down. But the rest of it sealed very well. And what I just all you do is you put down your substrate, your cardstock or whatever you're going to use, piece of plastic wrap. And Peggy and Chat mentioned, and I think it's a very, I didn't even realize um, that some of the plastic wrap may say heat uh, resistant. So you don't want that. I've used Dollar Store um, plastic wrap. Today I used Glad because that's what I stole out of the kitchen cabinet. Don't tell her on. <clears throat> and that, that the Glad worked fine. So you want to be aware of that, that some of them might say heat resistant. So then it's not going to melt for you. And then you just layer your cardstock, your plastic wrap, and then your napkin. And you want to use a hot, dry iron. And then you just iron it. So we did that. And then we did two uh, book pages. Which now these are warm. So now I've got them stuck to each other. When I set them on top of each other. Oh, fiddly foo. Note to self, make sure they cool before you set them on top of something else. So I just took two pages from a, a, a gardening book. And I used one of the uh, plain plies that I pulled off of, of the back of one of the napkins. So, you know. Same thing, you can use this however you might. Make a pocket, stamp on it, paint on it, you know, glue something else on top. We're just trying different stuff. This is white cardstock. And that was the butterfly, which this was, you know, the second layer of that napkin that we did on the piano roll paper. But to me, piano roll paper is, see, it's got all those holes and they like falls apart and rips and tears. So the napkin kind of hold that together, even if I flipped it and used just the piano roll side. And then I was saying to the girls, you could really, you know, section your napkin and use it on your scraps. I put a tea towel on top. Peggy puts on parchment paper. Um, you probably could put one of the other napkin backs on top and iron and not have a problem. You don't need a, a tea towel. You probably don't need parchment paper. And then uh, white cardstock, we did the truck. And then Re suggested maybe trying tissue paper. So I pulled out some tissue paper and we did a napkin on the tissue paper. So as you can see... Where's my, let me get that one. Now, this is an older one. Well, let me just do the pooch. Holly, I think I sent you some of these a while back. I've had these a long time. See, because it's on that paper. It makes fussy cutting a lot less fussy. Right? Just saying. See? Doesn't take long. And then... Yeah, I, have, I got this snap kind of a long while ago. I guess online somewhere. I don't know. It all becomes a blur. A blur. See, it's just so stinking easy. And then, of course, you can use these other little bits for whatever. All right. So that's what we did earlier. And then, of course, I wanted to cover these boxes. Well, not, you know, all of them today. 
but so now I'm thinking I want to stamp one here too and um, do some inking and then sand this off all right get the rest of this off and then I've got three more to do really now I I did say on one of my other streams I've lost my favorite stamp my French script stamp and I found a couple that are reasonable on I think it was McCary so I've got a couple coming so I don't know if I'll be able to wait a lace edge you think now see I've got this so it's about an inch of a rim right peg that's going to come over top of the can I mean the box would you put lace down below that see then when you take your lid off or would you just put it on there and hope your your lid's gonna fit see it's pretty tight so once i get the paper on it just makes me nervous it makes me nervous about it but i agree lace would look pretty for sure Let's see if I can. Uh, see if I can get something here just to just to have a look. See, a little look. See, if I've got the right kind of. No, well, this isn't really the right kind. I don't think. That's too thick. That's too thick. That's too thick. Do, 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 do. This is too thick, too, and too heavy, I think. This might just give us an idea. Of course, my lace is all buried. I am making progress. Okay, my hubby is so talented. He's rocking this thing out. And it looks great. I missed it. Oh, what's he doing? Put lace on the edge of the tin? Oh, I don't know. That makes me... I'm going to cut... I'm going to cut this. I have other lace, but not that I can get to easily while well, I'm... Um, stream and i already had one crash that you had to hear today don't want another all right let's see here Okay. See, I was thinking you were mean in here. Of course, the lace is very thin. It's huge. It's huge. Pretty you see, I'll end up thinking this. I'm going to end up thinking it. Thinky, thinky. I'm just going to do it. He's tearing apart. Oh, he's doing your... Oh, taking the top off and adding it to the... I gotcha. I remember you said that. That one you got at the yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. It's his 20th birthday today. Aww. 
Aww. Well, happy birthday to your son. Or. Now, Peg, how would you you attach that? Just with with like uh, Fabri-Tac and hope it looks okay. I mean, that does look nice. Of course, it would be less grungy. All right, girls, lace or no lace? What do you say, lace or no lace? the lace yeah I do like it so Peg tell me how you would glue it on there what what glue you would use I'll have to get out my other lace and see which one would look better and this one I chopped in half a thin line of Fabri-Tac okay across the ATC attach on top edge shouldn't show okay and then i can pick out a lace that has an, a better edge than that too you know which would be nicer all righty well i think that's it for me gals i'm going to go get some lunch i think and so that's what we did today thanks for joining me i appreciate it see i made that dark there i gotta get Maybe I shouldn't have gone around. You know what? I shouldn't have gone around. Well, I can fix that. See, I, I just get looking thing and then I'm just fussier and fussier. Uh, <clears throat> roses and lace, right? At least very nice, right? Can't go wrong. Thank you, Dixie. I appreciate it. All right, girls, take care. Thanks for joining me. Have a good afternoon. Tanya will be on, uh, we believe, 3 Central. No, 3 Eastern, 2 Central. And the other time zones, I don't know. But she'll be on. So you want to catch it. It's always a good time. And for those of you that are new and those that you might be watching the uh, replay, think about subbing. I'd appreciate it. Take care. Don't forget, take time to be creative. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, ladies. Bye-bye. Thanks, Peg. Thanks, Holly. Thanks, Barb. They're me mods. They're great. Bye-bye. Now I just have to find me little mousey moo. There he is. Bye, girls.